Nie, no czacze mi piszą, że jesteśmy chujowi, nie? No mają rację, no. Chowajmy się do lewej. Jadę. Dawaj go, Piotr. Nie dajcie mu płatkę. Dam, dam to pięcie, dusisz go teraz. Não viu um jogador não viu outro acho. Ouviu. Não viu. Vini acho que viu no retorno. Ele deu um passinho para trás. Consegue mais um abate. O Arte agora. Olha as balitas. O Arte e o Henrique também colaboram só para somente o Tatazinho para tentar fazer milagre. Situação complica para ele. Já foi encurralado o jogador e o Yuri só finaliza 16 a 12 aqui na Mirage para Fúria, Raul. A RCF em contrapartida já traz a kill para esse jogador, tá bem posicionado, não consegue encaixar o spray. Vini valoriza, a C4 está sendo plantada nesse momento do mal e o Henrique, olha só os abates acontecendo e tudo nas mãos do RCF. 2x1, 3 kills do Henrique, brabíssimo aí. Vamos ver se vai conseguir segurar esse after plant agora, RCF. Encontra o primeiro, já viu a movimentação, é Casterato, 1x1. A tranquilidade, balita do RCF, ponto da EA Gaming 2 a 2, tudo igual, Raulê. Porra, o Fallen, mano, tem se mostrado um baita pronetão, hein, velho? Isso é louco, mano. Que isso, hein, professor? Nossa senhora, não tá, velho? Nossa senhora, velho. Quanta jogada bonita do Fallen, velho. 3x3. Caiu o Fê. O Fallen, olha lá. Ele quer mais. Três kills para o professor. Taquinho, ajuda ele. Ajuda ele, Taquinho. Ajuda ele. E é nosso. 16 MBR. 12 bad news, velho. Ah, mano. Ó, um belo plant. Existe o um mundo, hein? Porra, Fer, é, Fer e Meyer tá morto, mas o Fallen Taco e KNG vivo de Eagle e Scout, velho. Ó, oh, esse mundo existe, velho. Esse round é nosso. Três vindo da base, ó. Quer outra? Quer outra? Uma só, hein? Acabou. 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 Quer outra? Que beleza. 16 MBR. 7 Bad News Vers. Tá aí, ó. O John tentou, mas o resto não acompanhou. KNG, que beleza. 18 barra 13. Mer 19, 14. Que beleza. 19, 16. Não sei mais uma não corta, hein? Ah, uh, 5 de vida. Eh, que queda de vida, gente, con AK. Última medida. Tá também bomba, creo. No, la, vete para la B, Frankie, ya. Está a su base. Me cago en la puta. Voy, voy. Vale, Ruby, tienes que quedarte tú en pit, en 3, por ejemplo. Sí. Quédate en 3 y yo te miro larga, ¿vale? Vale. No creo que te asomes sin pique... Si, de arriba no te cubras porque tiene... Bueno, pégate la frente. Parece que quieren venir aquí a la base de la B-bombside. Yeah, all five stacked up. They've gone for fakes in these uh, B-bomb site plays, but... 60 seconds to the clock. They might go for an early execution. They've gone to some very, very low timers here. Fallen takes out Dapper. Finally gets a kill and kicks off his start in the B-bomb site defense. The sprays from the AKs probably should give an indication of what's going on here, but they have fallen for these fakes before, so all three of the CTs here on A will wait for a retake position. Fur could get flashed in. I think there was one going up. He does catch John G at the end of the smoke. Gets himself two frags. On the gets point blank, but the M4 wakes it happen. It's fallen left alone here with the AWP getting himself a 3k and keeping MIBR in tow for the 11th round. Yeah, fantastic hold coming out from MIBR and finally they're able to break the streak and it kind of just comes down with the utility we see B and B right. yeah the, the English language barrier is going to be a, a bit of something for him to learn about wow and there's another one the two international stars getting some opening kills here yeah those are with Desert Eagles they're on a five versus three they're rushing towards ramp and this could be deadly me who's just going to stay alive at this point baiting and moose who just needs to get one he does the damage it might be enough i think it is three versus one now not for long it is going to be envy winning wow. out an eco no armor just desert eagles and some great shots look at their money now yep. it would have been oh, great it's before a dream <laughs> this is fantastic for envy right here they couldn't be uh, asking for anything more on their map pick they are poised now to run away with a few more rounds assuming that liquid don't go for a four by back of themselves. And here's those Deagle replays Just, for y'all. Just uh, theorycraft for me. What's uh, what's the purpose of Liquid when they have 
one would assume going into that round a, a financial advantage. Why are you nading off the squeaky door? Because it feels like it's more of a team. 16 e é 14 fúria. A é leva o primeiro mapa, hein, mano? Você é louco, velho. A é, mano, surpreendendo. Aqui foi só, mano, aqui foi surpreensão, né, velho? And they get the frags they need. Just like that, Stewie to equalize and then some a double. But there's more where that came from. Now Mihu looking to clutch up a one versus three in a blink of an eye becomes a one versus one and he's found a liege. Quad kill from Mihu. He pulls them across the line and takes six for Envy. That's huge from Mihu. Remember, he was zero and six at one point and he has come fully to life at this stage. He's actually gone way up the scoreboard. He's joined his teammates at seven and seven. And that's a huge round for him to win as well. We said... He was considered a hot prospect with the rifles in CSGO, but that's been about four years I've been saying that, to be honest with you. Finally, we will see him in an MB jersey, getting it done here in a one versus two. Lovely stuff. Liquid might be on the back. Different strategy, you can wait up the early seat. Oh, what was that? Uh, that sorry, was like that was my, my inner demon actually got <laughs> hold of the microphone for a second. Wow. Yeah, okay. He doesn't normally, like, I normally I only hear here. him, but the strange that. Oh, oh. oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I, go back inside. Are you feed, You're not feeding him today. Oh my god. I, he sounds possessed. He himself. is. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Either way, let's get back into the action here. The first gun round's about to go down. The AK-47s are out. And it's a bit of a bonus situation for Vitality here. The Hamas is the MP9. Ooh, there we go. Oh, he gets the and he dig. Does. And now a bomb plant found. Gate over here in Elevator. Makalele on for a stellar clutch. And oh, almost so oh. close. But Gade holds his own in the clutch once again. Another 1v1 oh, okay. for Gade. <laughs> And a little like bit that. of a celebration in the cell. Uh... He gives away his position. That's a big mistake. Without catching the kill on the XMS. Tagged up. JW can swoop. Oh, he drops the molly, but that's the last thing he does. Getting taken down right afterwards. Man advantage no longer in play for Fnatic. The spam not good in a bomb plant for Heretics. Now holding down, but Kiyoshima's caught in the open. Leaving it into a 2v3. And a lot of work to be done here by Heretics to get back into it. They've got to hold off as the players come out. Rap, nice swing by Navera. His one taps are unrivaled. And it's all down to Crims. He's got to get out, but he can't do a thing. Navera in with the headshot to close that one out. Be runs out, thinking there's no one to its mid and drops smartly. Faith goes with CD spawn. And Robsy still gets to kill Carrigan. Helping him out there. And Robs with a 3k, leaving it all on Letney in a 1v3. Bombs dropped at mid. There's nothing he can do. And there's a player old Suta, Apex, shocks Zywu and RPK. And speak of the devil, he's just copped a bullet straight into the dome and he's handed him out as well. <laughs> That's not bad at all from Zywu. He finds two kills, the bomb goes down, and there is a huge gap there as exists. We'll salvage the C4. Knife kill? And there is a what? knife kill. Apex is uh, bringing nothing but heat today, it seems. We're going to have a five versus two. Halzer can exist. Trying to find a kill if possible, but Zywu gets his third. And now just poor old Halzer here, <laughs> holding towards the ramp. He's got good timing in terms of the cross. Oh, Oh, that couldn't be any better. That's comical. He probably won't win the round, but indeed, that is quite the play. They have no idea he's coming. As far as they're aware, ramp is covered. There's no way he can come through, and it will be Zaibu to go down. But obviously, that gives up Halzuk's position, and it should be just a matter of time before it's closed out. And there's Apex. Gets a knife kill in the round and a chibi hit as well. We're going to find $5,200 on him. Damn. So, a lot of cash. While we are talking about numbers and team vitality so far throughout the road to Rio, in their three games that they played thus far, they've uh, lost to Australis and NIP, and their win was against Complexity. But Ah, he shot me, he shot me. Mm, but that is like that. Bora, bora, bora. Zaki, Zaki. 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 Zaki, Ops down towards B tunnels, and he gets a kill over there, falls on back. They have four or five players, in fact, waiting towards the A bomb side once they come in. And they're just getting outplayed and outgunned. And Walksick waking up, that's going to be a scary thought as well. If Mousewitz wins this map, which is looking likely by the way it's playing out, Train is going to be worrisome, because that is a map where Walksick is definitely going to have fun as well with the AWP. And here we go. Just the Deagles, a few upgraded pistols. Once again, trying to make contact towards Long, and once again, it is going to be Mr. Carrigan waiting with the AG of his. Carrigan just waiting around the corner. It's going to be Emmy who hits the deck first. That's Branta coming in on the Deagle. Woxic doing good work. Auto picked off. Another one from Woxic. There's three delivered. Oh. Woxic just shutting.
Django. Not the jungle, <laughs> jungle. Can you flash my spawn? Yeah, flash my spawn. Oh, okay. Spawn dead. Smoke in your, spawn. your jungle. Uh, jungle dead. Spawn and cut. Spawn dead. Plant oh, bomb, yeah. plant, plant, plant. Planting default. I'm in spawn. I'm 1 HP. I'm 1 HP. I don't see anything. He's out jungle. Okay, he is in spawn probably. I'm just playing time. I'm just playing time. You got him in. I'm holding your cross, okay? Yeah. He's there, he's there, he got it, man. Can you guys pause? Woohoo! Good yeah. shit. Nice round. Looking at her position overall, especially as Crims had a decent spot. If he could have gotten a little bit closer with that MAC 10, perhaps it would have been somewhat more dangerous. But JW can still be the issue right now for them. Flush it as well. Put pressure on that player over towards the ramp. But JW with an M4 now manages to get himself when it's come down to the one on one. Maka has the defuse kit at least to work with her. The bomb, I believe, is planted though out in the open for Flusher to work off of shoulder peak and I believe haven't been spotted at this point. But Maka, he has to just go ahead and stick it now. Beginning the spin, I believe. Flusher struggling to get the kill, but he decides, yeah, I'm not going for the headshot. I'm not playing that game. A very brave move by Maka. <laughs> Mihus knows there's someone nearby and War of Attrition is one. Mihus gonna get another as he charges up the, the ladder. I'm not sure what's happened there. Mihus gone down to twist, which leads oh, Calix oh. and they're both oh. just lining up for him. He collects. That's gonna egg equalize completely. Envy for Liquid Four. I oh. thought they'd done enough on the force. Got an egg on the face there. Yeah, they had done enough. I'm not sure why they're both trying to come out the hut at the same time. Really couldn't tell you that. They're trying to deny him playing the bomb, I, I understand. But at the same time, let's think about the round itself. They assumed he was just going for the full commitment. They both swing out, they bump into each other, and they line up for it. This is a little bit of an awkward way to close it out. I even called it before he even started shooting. It was just a guaranteed double kill. There was no way he wasn't going to get